after the success of my first Elder Scrolls video, and in my ongoing quest to piss everyone on the internet off, welcome to the Races of the Elder Scrolls RANT! Will this be a series? I... I don't know. Maybe, if it gets enough traction. But, but, without further ado, allow me to tell you our categories and contenders. From the province of Black Marsh, it's the Argonians! These lizard people are fiercely independent with a strong connection to the magical trees known as the Hiss. From the Somerset Isles, the Ultmer, also known as the High Elves. These magically adept people hold themselves to be superior to all other races and descended directly from the gods themselves. Next, from the land of Valenwood, the Bosmer. People of the trees and the most animalistic of the Mer. The Bosmer are great hunters and rangers, but don't go to dinner parties with them. From the provinces of High Rock, it's the Bretons! Feuding lords and honor-bound knights, while seemingly stereotypical, the Bretons are actually the descendants of the Altmer and Needs! From Cyrodiil, it's the Imperials! Rulers of a great empire and freed from the aliens by the slave queen Alessia. The Imperials see themselves as the rightful rulers of the world. From Morwind, it's the Dunmer! Migrants from the Somerset Isles, the Denver have forged a vibrant culture from the wastelands of Morwen. From elsewhere, it's the Khajiit! Cat people that worship the moons and are known as traitors, thieves, and merchants. From Skyrim, the Nords! Brutish warriors and possibly the first humans in Tamriel, the Nords freed themselves from the dragons through their mastery of the Foom! From nowhere in particular, the Orcs! Also known as Orzabur, the Orcs are devout followers of Malakath and insular warriors that seek only to preserve clan and kin. And finally, from Hammerfell, the Red Guards! From a mysterious lost continent, these desert-dwelling warriors have a past steeped in magic and ancient wisdom. <coughs> <clears throat> Man, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what came over me there. That was weird. Um, now we're going to talk about the categories. These will be presented one by one in a ranked list, hence the name of the series. Our categories are... Lore, which will be by how much I like the lore of a given race, and will also say what aspect I most enjoy. General preference, how fun are they to be around? Am I excited when a character happens to be of that race? And attractiveness. These will split attractiveness for male and female, and are, you know, fairly self-explanatory. Let's get ready to rumb rank! First up are the Red Guards. I just find the lore around Yokuda to be so fascinating. That a people can persevere through so much hardship and still hold onto their past. Plus, I mean, look, Japan's just cool. You thought these were going to be first, didn't you? Look, as much as I love the Dunmer, with their complex history of magic and almost alien landscape they inhabit, not to mention dear sweet Navar, I was introduced to the series with Skyrim, and so never had that connection to the Dunmer that so many Morrowind players did. Look, the Argonians are cool, okay? The whole idea of being literally codependent with the land and having your creators being literal trees is just awesome. Plus, like, lizard people are fun. The Manes, the Moons, the Persian Cats, the Khajiit have a rich and deep history steeped in much more mysticism than the other races. The whole concept of Manes is what really got me into them, though. The Orcs are shitty, literally, and that's why I love them. The whole idea of being corrupted by being pious is, is unique and takes the archetypal Tolkienian template and turns it on its head. Plus, their oppression seems pretty true to form, if unfortunate. The origins of the Altmer are so fascinating that it almost, almost justifies their superiority complex. Almost. Being literal descendants of the gods is a concept that makes the Altmer much more like Azamar than traditional High Elves. Look. I do love the Ozmer and their ritual cannibalism, their weird abilities to turn into eldritch abominations, and adorable little antlers. But I'm sorry, your golden cousins are just slightly cooler. I'm sorry to my kin for this, but beyond being half-elves, the Bretons are pretty stereotypical medieval fantasy. They're the Vlandians, Orlesians, Tyrells, etc. Reachmen are cool, though. Dragons are interesting, yeah, but the old lore was much more interesting. Now they're just those Vikings from How to Train Your Dragon. Talos is interesting, Alessia's fun, Riemann is weird, Pelinal is... Pelinal? But the Imperials are just Roman wannabes who can't seem to hold an empire together. I, I think I've learned that most humans are just boring. <music> but 
Besides telling me to go to the Cloud District constantly, Red Guards are really just fun to be around. Musara. Anyone who's played Morrowind knows why I love Dunmer. Yeah, they're a bit racist. But I can bear that for those rich voices and signals of deep, deep culture. Finding a Bosmer somewhere out in the woods should probably be disconcerting, but I love nature too. Again, don't let them make you dinner, but beyond that, they'll probably be an interesting conversation. I mean, British and French people are generally fun to be around. Just translate that into the Elder Scrolls and there you go. Okay, yeah, racist. But we can also have a fun time talking about magic and complaining how crappy the rest of the provinces are. They probably smell terrible and I feel bad, but I also don't want to get my head bashed in if I accidentally insult the chief. I like their wares, but they might also be high all the time. I think I'll take my chances with the Bosmer instead. Speaking of similar to the Bosmer, the Argonians are very fond of the water and swamps. Beyond the smell, I, I don't do well with alligators and weird sticky sap. Look, I like the Nords, but they just seem like meatheads. If Anman's testimony is anything to go by, my arcane talents might also be a source of contention. Just as the Romans might not be fun to hang out with, the Imperials seem like they might try to colonize or convert me before anything else. This is this is just going to me, right? It's it's not like going out to the whole internet or something, right? It it is. Oh Lord. Now, okay, there's another reason I like red cards. I mean, just just look at that. Just look at that. For all my harsh words about Nords, there's a reason that trashy Viking romance is a thing. Now, I haven't seen Roman romance novels before, but, I mean, I, you know, it seems like there's an opportunity there. Do, do I need to say anything here, or, or just... Okay, cool. Can't tell I have a type already? Then orcs being in fifth should probably confirm it. Look, generally, jawlines aren't important, but they just kind of look like gray aliens, okay? Aliens, this time in yellow. Same above with the uh, alien comparison. Though, I am going to say, I like that the Murr look this way. I know some people don't, but I like the changes that Skyrim made. It gives them uniqueness and separates them from the other elves in fantasy, but... Okay, it makes them look feckin' ugly, too. Look, lizards are really cute. I don't think I want to screw them, though. Look, I love cats. I am definitely a cat person. Not in that way. Definitely not in that way. Now, take everything I said about Malmer and throw it out the window. For some reason, I like blue people. Female Dunmer, do it for me. Now, you may have caught me saying that the antlers were cute earlier. This would be what I mean. Plus, kind of short, people in nature. Look, I have types. Just Sadie alone would put them up there. Shame she's an asshole. But I have a thing for pirates and Bedouins too, so yeah. Same reasons as with the men. Just hot. Oh, and Camilla Valerius. Um, again, asshole, but attractive asshole. Same as with the men. There's something seductive about being French. Look, Nords, I... I don't hate you, but bulky and meat-headed doesn't exactly equal attractive when I'm thinking about women. Look, there's there's something about orcs that... It's the tusks. It's the tusks. I, I can't get over the tusks. Just because I don't worship Talos doesn't mean I'm going to start worshipping you. I just can't get over the eyes. The eyes are weird, okay? I know the Lusty Argonian Maid exists, and that puts them above my last pick, but no. Just, just, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't want to screw a cat! And that was the Elder Scrolls Races ranked. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and tell me in the comments if you would like me to rank other things, whether in the universe of the Elder Scrolls or beyond. If you want to see more, subscribe so you don't miss when I expose myself to the internet, I mean, upload another video again. Have a wonderful day, and see you next time.